Hi friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome back to the SST Car Show. I don't really care for wagons, but I ended up falling in love with this one. Here's a review of the V90 Cross Country from Volvo. This is the Volvo V90 Cross Country, and it doesn't look like it's very exciting, but slip behind the wheel and you'll find that it actually is. The first thing you'll notice is that the V90 Cross Country is lifted just a little bit. It provides a little more ground clearance. Maybe not as much as an SUV, but more than a sedan or a regular wagon. All-wheel drive comes standard. This is a full-size wagon, one of the biggest on the market today. The design, the style, aggressive. The lines make it look muscular, and overall it has a modern feel. Under the hood, you'll find a twin-charged inline four-cylinder engine. That's right, twin-charged. It's both supercharged with an electric supercharger and turbocharged. Plus, it has a mild hybrid electric system. So why would they put all that technology under the hood? Well, it provides a seamless driving experience. It eliminates turbo lag. It gives you the efficiency that comes with driving a hybrid, and it delivers power, lots of power. You get 295 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. The 48-volt hybrid system doesn't really do much to boost power, but it does give you a little more efficiency, a little bit better fuel economy. With Volvo, you're getting real luxury here fine leather, a finely crafted interior. That's real wood on the dashboard. Yeah, real wood. But with Volvo, as expected, safety comes first. It has some interesting safety features built into it. Unique. For instance, you need to tap the shifter lever twice to put it into reverse or twice to put it into drive and Regardless of which way you're going, you always have to shift through neutral. The V90 is limited to a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. That's 111 miles per hour. Again, presumably they're doing that for safety reasons. Wagons have fallen out of favor with the motoring public, so you might not think about buying something like this, but the reality is this is a wagon that makes a lot of sense especially if you're in the market for an SUV, but you don't like to climb in and climb out of a vehicle that sits up high. There are some other very unique features with this car. For instance, the suspension is unique. The rear spring is a fiberglass leaf spring system. It actually runs across the car, not front to back. You don't have two springs on each side. In a conventional setup, it has one leaf spring and it's made of fiberglass, or it appears to be made of a fiberglass material. It is in that way very similar to uh, a suspension setup that you would find on a Corvette. The V90 provides tons of cargo space and there's even a cage that folds down and that would allow you to put dogs in the back. In Canadian dollars, you're looking at about $65,000 to start, about $75,000 if you load it up with every possible option. The Bowers and Wilkins stereo option is a premium add-on. It sounds great. It's worth about $3,500. Upgrade and you get the heated, ventilated, massaging seats that are just awesome. Volvo has a reputation for building long-lasting, safe cars. In fact, I remember when I was uh, just a kid, uh, the neighbor a few doors down, my best friend, his dad, he owned a Volvo station wagon. And that was the only car they ever owned in all the years that, uh, that they lived down the street from me. They probably had that car for... 20 years and that's all that they ever had it, and it just kept running and running and running it was uh, just a great all around solid tough car now that was back in the 1970s but boy I'll tell you uh, I, that stuck with me I remember that uh, the car I always thought was kind of a clunky uh, not very stylish car 
but it, it, it served that family well. It just never gave up, kept on going and going and going. Even though you don't have paddle shifters, you can still shift the eight-speed automatic manually using the gear selector. Tap right to shift up, left to shift down. The gear selector is different in a Volvo, but that's just the way they roll. Volvo is all about safety, so this car has some unique safety features built into it. For instance, when you put the car into reverse or drive, the brakes remain engaged even after you take your foot off the brake pedal. The brakes don't disengage until you tap the accelerator. Again, everything is controlled through the infotainment system, the heated steering wheel, the climate control system. The infotainment system on this V90 is not intuitive. I, I honestly don't care for it much. Uh, I suppose you would get used to it, but a lot of the things in this car, because they do things a little bit differently, I've, I've had to get the owner's manual out or look things up in order to figure out how to make things operate. Uh, the, the sound system by Bose and Wilkins is, uh, is excellent. It's clean. It's as good as any high-end audio system out there, but the interface, the, uh, the touch screen uh, could be maybe a little bit larger, and the whole system, I find, is just a little bit confusing. Again, it might not look like a very exciting vehicle, but the V90 is a pleasure to drive. You can feel the quality. It performs. You can accelerate with confidence. The ride is firm but comfortable, and it handles great. There's a lot of technology packed into this wagon. The chassis is stiff. The suspension is modern. The powertrain delivers a smooth power band. Overall, it's just a pleasure to drive. Slip behind the wheel, it will surprise you. And that's why the Volvo V90 Cross Country B6 is SST approved.